Hello, Cublets. Welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. It's hard to believe that nearly a century ago, November 11th marked the end of the war to end all wars. That was World War I. This day became a holiday in 1938, but in 1958 is when it actually became the title of Veterans Day by good old Dwight D. Eisenhower. Thank you, Dwight. And hey, for those of you that are enjoying this very, very special day, you probably have the day off. You might be wondering, oh, it's great, Veterans Day sales. But this is a very special day for many people, not just those that are veterans that serve, and I deeply thank each and every one of you who signed that line and put your life on the line, literally, to protect, serve, and uphold the values that the United States was based upon. This day is more than just sales. And I want to take this moment just on my vlog to talk about I've gotten the opportunity through my life to meet many wonderful LGBT military veterans and current LGBT members inside the military right now. It's an amazing story that each one of these individuals has. Why they went into the military, what happened while they were in the military, especially during those times where they had to remain silent and keep that side of themselves hidden. It's incredible the steps and the progress that we've made with our LGBT veterans. And it's incredible that they can serve openly now, to a point, and also their spouses, because we have legalized across the board, all 50 states, we have legalized marriage. That is now being recognized by the spouses of the LGBT community. So gays, lesbians, bisexuals, all everyone gets equal rights when it comes to their spouses, which is great, but we still have a lot of progress to make in this. But it's incredible from where we've come. And when I think about our veterans, especially in the LGBT community, I remember talking to this one individual. I was in South Carolina for about six months with my family. And I got the opportunity to meet a lot of Marines that were still at that time in the closet. And one of them I had this long conversation with and he was telling me, he's like, yeah, it's, it's very hard if you're stationed uh, overseas. He goes, it's hard here, but it's even harder there where there was this whole network set up so they could meet other LGBT people. They would meet this person on the street and he would direct him someplace else and and they would end up in a bar. It was very, very down low. And it's amazing how we've come from these steps of having to meet in private and secret. It, it reminded me so much of like the 1930s and the 40s and the 50s where these guys, they were so scared because their livelihood and their lives. As this gentleman told me, he goes, I rely upon my fellow soldiers to protect me just like I protect them, we're a family. But some families don't get along with the LGBT person or the gay person, and that makes you a target. And I'm really proud to see that we've made so much steps forward beyond that. And this is a special day. It's more than just the sales, people. I mean, if you wanna go out there and get those sales, good job. But hey, if you are LGBT and you are a veteran, I just want to send you a big bear hug and a thank you from the deepest bottom of my heart that you are amazing. You served in silence, you fought, you protected, you upheld our country's values, and that says a lot. And to all of my very special family out there, I hope that you've gotten to this part in the video, I wanted to send you also a big bear hug and a big thank you that you also have tolerated me as the rainbow sheep in the family and you have done an amazing job just protecting our country and just serving and one last thing was really cool because veterans day came out of world war one actually was just recently on a ghost tour up in akron that was set up by stonewall columbus and this gentleman walked by and i saw his hat and i was like oh my gosh he was a World War II veteran. Now, there are not a lot of World War II veterans left, and let alone World War I. I mean, I don't know if any, but this man is just incredible what he's seen and everything. And just, 
it was so great just to thank him personally. I was like, just thank you for your service and, and make sure that you do. If you have family members that are, or that are veterans, make sure you give them a big hug and a thank you. And if you see someone wearing a hat, make sure you say thank you to them as well. You know, it's, it's, they deserve it. And I hope that you all are having a wonderful Veterans Day. And I put on my very special camo for you and I even have on my dog tags. They're not really my dog tags, but um, I look good in camo though. That side note. All right. So everyone have a wonderful Veterans Day. And until next time, bye, Cublets! I could count in the dark and see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every word that you are throwing right into my back doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my track. Let me go. Let me go.